How's it going everyone? JKXVXA, we're back on Forza Horizon 5 today with a, another informational video. There has been another live stream, only a 30 minute live stream from Playground Games talking a bit more about Forza Horizon 5. This stream in particular focused mainly on the weather, the seasons, the skies, a few tiny little features and stuff like that. I will be doing in-depth videos on every single Forza Horizon 5 stream that happens so you don't have to watch through the whole thing just have to watch a shortened down packed detailed video of every stream that's going to be right here on this channel so if this video helps you out guys please make sure to subscribe this video is going to include information on how they capture real skies into the game information on the weather and the new weather storms the seasons and what they're like and then a bunch of q a questions which were answered by Playground Games that were asked by chat. So questions that you guys have asked Playground Games have now been answered. And we also have information on the car sounds as well, or at least when we're going to hear about that. So lots of random things in today's video, but it's all about Horizon 5. And all of this is actually going to include brief, but new images and scenes, and I wouldn't call it gameplay, but in-game scenes from Forza Horizon 5 of the new weather and stuff like that. So let's start with the weather and the stuff like that. Now, it's been previously mentioned that the skies in Forza Horizon 5 are real skies captured from real images. Whenever a location is decided for a Forza Horizon game, player games themselves go to these real life locations. So in this case, they've been to Mexico. And as you can see on screen, I'm gonna leave some images of what they've done. They have this big rig which they place in the middle of a nice big field and they capture the real life scenes and images of Mexico's skies. They capture hundreds of hours of skies, up to 75 terabytes worth of images of skies. Um, you know, not just daylight, you know, nighttime skies, sunsets, sunrises, everything you can imagine, just pure images of real skies. And that's how they've managed to make Mexico in game so realistic. Once again, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's very impressive and very cool. And there's a bunch of images on screen right now, as you can see, if you know what it sort of looks like, it's kind of interesting to see. Let me touch a bit now on what the weather systems are gonna be like, and then we'll go to the seasons. Now there are two new weather effects in Forza Horizon 5. And presuming the usual ones are raining and heavy rain and stuff like that, now we now have tropical storms and dust storms, both of which you're going to see a little bit of gameplay or I would say scenes on screen right now. Dust storms are, well, massive dust storms. Now these are usually localized. These dust storms will pop up or start to appear at one place on the map and they will sort of stay in that area but they will sort of expand a little bit. They don't really move about completely. They sort of stay in one area. They might get a bit bigger or a bit smaller but don't expect these dust storms to sweep across the whole map. Apparently that's not how it works. Presumably the same is for tropical storms as well. You know, it builds up in an area, it gets very tropical, it's very stormy, but it doesn't move along the whole map. And there's a reason for that. It's unknown how often and how quickly these storms appear and these effects change. Although we do know it can vary from season to season. Let's talk about how these seasons work now. Now, in Mexico, these seasons are not similar to let's say the UK, where in the UK, summer is usually very sunny and winter is usually very rainy, it's very basic. In Mexico, it's not quite the same as that. While, the, the, while there are going to be seasons in Mexico, it's still going to be different at every part of the map. For example, let's say that Mexico is in a summer season in Forza Horizon 5. There are still going to be parts of the map which might rain more than they do in winter. There might be still some parts of the map that is just always sunny and bright regardless of if it's summer or winter in Horizon 5. This goes for all the weather effects as well. For example, let's say in autumn in Mexico there might be more dust storms than in any other season and it might be in a specific area as well. It doesn't seem like it's going to be as forced as Forza Horizon 4 was. 
For example, in winter in Forza Horizon 4, it was icy. You had no choice but to drive on the snow. It doesn't seem like it's going to be like that in Mexico. Every part of the map is going to have a different reaction to what the season is going to be like. We know that the volcano is always going to be quite, you know, snowy. So if you want to play on a bit of snow, you can go up the volcano. If you want it to be nice and sunny, you want some dry roads, you can go down to the coast and explore there. Now, as I said earlier, it doesn't seem like these storms and these weathers are going to move much. So if it's heavy rain in one area, it doesn't seem like that heavy rain can move across the whole map. It can get a bit bigger and expand, but it's not going to move and travel about. And these dust storms aren't going to move and travel about either. You can just avoid them by not going near them. Now that's a bit on the weather and the seasons. I know it's all a bit babbly, but people are going to want to know all this information, so yeah. Now at the end of the stream, they did a little Q&A. They asked chat to send in questions and then they answered them. So let's go through them now. Something was mentioned about how you can create races with certain weather effects. For example, in Horizon 4, you can set it to have a race in the sunset um, while it's raining or in the middle of the day while it's clear. You know, there's different combinations, and apparently in Forza Horizon 4, there was a few hundred combinations you could have. Well, in Horizon 5, the amount of customization you can have with what weather you want to be on in your races, there's now thousands of combinations. So you may be able to make a race where there's a dust storm here, um, you know, it's sunny over here, and it's the, mid of the middle of the day. There's thousands of combinations you can do, which is really cool. A question was asked about the engine sounds. We want to know more about these engine sounds or the car sounds which have been updated and changed. Well, thankfully, we have now got a bit more information soon. <laughs> they basically said that in a couple of weeks, they will be covering exclusively the new car sounds of Forza Horizon 5 in one of the next streams. I think they might have even said it might be the next stream. So very, very soon we'll be hearing exclusively in detail about what these new car sounds are going to be like. These other questions are just a bit random, but barn finds, are barn finds still going to be a thing? Yes, the barn finds are back in Forza Horizon 5. They're going to be the most detailed they've ever been and very location specific. Um, someone asked if there's going to be sheep in Forza Horizon 5. No, there's not sheep, but there are big horn sheep. So there you go, if you want big horn sheep. People want to know a bit more about the highway. Now, it has been confirmed that the highway in Forza Horizon 5 is the longest one we've ever seen. There is no estimate as to how big it was, but they emphasized that it is big. So that's good to know. There's a new logo for the Horizon Festival, apparently. It's already in one of the screenshots somewhere they've mentioned. So I don't know, again, pretty cool. Someone asked if there are, there are any good mountain roads in Horizon 5. An obvious question, but we got the answer. Yes, there are some really good high mountain roads in Horizon 5. And then someone else wanted to know is, can you put the convertibles in Forza Horizon 5 up and down in free row? Well, we saw this in the gameplay. The answer is yes, you can put your convertible roof up or down while in free roam using the left analog stick. It's not just in the auto show. That was all of the questions that got asked. Now, it was a stream full of very, very random information, but I wanted to make a video of it regardless because any bit of information is good information, regardless of how weird it is. The seasons sound very cool in Horizon 5. It's good to know that they're not going to be so forced, you know, for the whole map like Horizon 4 was. Wasn't really a bad thing anyway, but that's pretty good to know. It seems like the next stream might be about the car sound, so that's very much something to look forward to. But yeah, that was everything that was in the Horizon 5 stream. Hopefully we get some more gameplay soon. I mean, we'll, we'll find out. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you are most looking forward to in Horizon 5. There's just so much on my list, I cannot wait. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.